Greetings, Gemstones. Templeton Page Taylor here, and we're back with a PlayStation Classic review part two. In this one, we're going to be reviewing the True Blue Mini Crackhead Pack, 64 gigabyte stick with 101 games on it. Now I know that sounds pretty interesting, doesn't it? Includes 101 games. Um, so yeah, there are supposed to be 101 games on this thing, and this is the box for it. It is a standard USB. Comes with a nifty little cover for the for it. And what's really neat, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it actually has a PlayStation drawn on to it. Ding. And I thought that little attention to detail was pretty cool. It also says Dopamine for your PlayStation Classic, which is a cute little joke. I kind of like how they did that. And I'll be honest with you. I thought I was wasting my money when I bought this thing. I seriously was like, 20 bucks, I'll give it a shot. I don't really want to throw any money away, but let's see what happens. And to my surprise, I was astounded. In fact, I was in awe about how many games that were on this thing. But for me, it was really like, the popular titles. You know all the games that people wanted? They wanted Crash Bandicoot. They wanted Tomb Raider. They wanted the Resident Evil games. They wanted, you know, so many others. Castlevania. And all those games are on here. This little stick, which is really cool. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that the games on this are encrypted. You can plug this into your desktop or laptop and the little light on there will light up, the little orange light, indicating that it's been plugged into a USB, but your desktop and or laptop will not recognize it at all. So they've gone to great lengths to make sure that this thing only works in your PlayStation Classic. Another thing I would like to mention is that it does come with a USB hub, 2.0 with four slots. Now, I tried plugging this into my PlayStation Classic with the two controls it came with, and it would not work. I tried plugging in the True Blue Mini Stick into this with the controller. I got no result. I have an old USB hub, one I paid maybe $10, $11 for a couple years back, and that's the one that works on my PlayStation Classic for some reason. Not this guy, my old one. And the way the old one works uh, also is that I plug it into the Player One slot, and it lights up. The blue light lights up onto it, and the end one on my old on my old one is for Player Two for some reason, and then it's got the three on the side, and the one in the middle works. Not the other two, but the one in the middle works, and that's Player One, which is pretty interesting. You would think that'd be one, and that would be two, but it's not. But that one works, so I can plug this into the Player Two slot, plug in my old hub. And then I can plug in my two controllers and play two player games. And I will give you an example of that. Now I know this does work on my laptop and it works really well, which is pretty cool. And if you have a PS4, maybe you can plug it into that and give yourself a few extra hubs. That would be really cool to check out. But for $20, this thing is pretty freaking amazing. And I want to give you an example of that right now. So let's see, get done with this whole me going gaga over this cute little stick and let's check it out. So here's the PlayStation Classic booting up. And here we are, the crackhead stick plugged into the PlayStation Classic with the 101 games. And for some reason it's uh, in the C's, let's go back to the very beginning, which is uh, we have games like Alundra, very fun game. We have games like Azure Dreams. Bit of a hidden gem, actually. Uh, I like playing that one when I was a kid. Uh, we've got Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain. Uh, never played that one before. We have 
Brave Fencer Musashi. That one was a really great one I used to play with my friend Lonnie years ago. Oh, sorry, skipped over to uh, Breath of Fire 3, one of the best known RPGs on the PlayStation Classic. Uh, Breath of Fire 4, I'm sorry, uh, one of the best known games on the PlayStation. <laughs> I guess the PlayStation Classic as well now. We are at Breath of Fire 4, like I mentioned a minute ago. Uh, the last best Breath of Fire game in my personal opinion. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which is a game that a lot of people were hoping to get originally on the system. Uh, Circuit Breaker, the one that we just started off on when you saw me plug, uh, turn the PlayStation on. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 2, again, other games that uh, people wanted. Crash Team Racing, they remade this one for PlayStation, Class, uh, PlayStation 4, as everyone knows. I believe they remade it for, uh, yeah, just PlayStation 4. I think it's PlayStation exclusive. Uh, again, we have Croc 2. Uh, interesting how they put Croc 2 on there, but not Croc 1. So, uh, uh, but now we have a Diablo, original Diablo, very fun game. Uh, Digimon World. I actually did remember playing this one when I was a kid. It was very fun. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, didn't have Digimon World 2. Didn't know they made a Digimon World 2. Um, but they also had Digimon World 3. So again, you know, uh, a lot of popular games on here. Um, Dino Crisis. Uh, Dino Crisis 2. Uh, we have Disruptor. We have Driver. You are the wheel man. Driver 2. Einhonder. I remember playing this one on my uh, friend Blake's uh, PlayStation quite a few years back. That was a really awesome one. Uh, we've got FIFA Soccer 2005, Final Fantasy Origins with Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on it, uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles with both Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy 4 on it. That's really awesome. Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy 5, Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 8. Kind of funny how they've got. Basically one through six, and then eight, of course, we have seven on the actual originals, but that's pretty cool. Uh, Gex, Gex, Enter the Gecko, Gex 3, covered, uh, Deep Cover Gecko. That one's a really fun one. That was the only Gex game I actually played was the third one. Uh, we've got Gran Turismo 2, and the simulation mode. I didn't know it had a simulation mode. Uh, we have Harvest Moon, Back to Nature. Harvest Moon was a very fun game. Hogs of War, a definite memory for me. I loved Hogs of War growing up. It was so much fun. Uh, we've got Hot Shots Golf. Remember hearing about it, never played it. Uh, same with two, never played it. Klonoa, played that one on the Wii. Didn't play the original on the PlayStation, but hey, you know, it's uh, pretty cool that it is on there. Uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, so uh, Legacy of Kane 2. Uh, Legend of Lagaya, very fun. Uh, RPG, one of my favorites growing up as a kid. Legend of Mana, I really like that one because of the world building. You literally put the little artifacts all over the map. It was really, really neat to see that. Um, Madden NFL 98, I do remember playing that one a little bit. Uh, didn't really get into it because I wasn't really into sports. Still not much into sports nowadays. Uh, we got Medieval 1 and 2, you know, they're remaking the Medieval game, so that's awesome that we have the original, we can play that. Uh, Mega Man Legends, um, as you can see there's a resume point on there, it's one of the ones that I beat, I will be doing a review on that one, very fun game. Mega Man X4, in my personal opinion, the last good Mega Man X game, because uh, 5 and 6 were a little eh, and 7 I wasn't really into. Um, in fact, one of them, I think it might have been 7, I'm not sure, you didn't even play as X, you played as uh, two other people. Uh, there was uh, MLB 2000, um, NCAA March Madness 2001. We've got Need for Speed High Stakes, love Need for Speed games. Wasn't really much of a racing fan before, but became a racing fan later on in life. And I, re I played the Need for Speed games, and I really, really loved them now. I wish I would have got into them when I was a kid. Uh, I felt like I missed out on a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff, but I love them now. They're really fun games. Uh, we got NFL Blitz, uh, NFL Face, NHL Face Off. Not really much in the hockey games, but we got hockey games on here. Uh, Odd World Abe's Odyssey, which is an interesting choice because it's on the PlayStation Classic already. 
Uh, you would think they would have had maybe um, Abe's Exodus on this. That was a really fun one. Never finished that one. Uh, you no, know, I keep saying there's a lot of games I don't finish. Played a lot of games. Didn't finish a lot of them, unfortunately. It was really sad. Uh, Parappa the Rappa. Never played it. Uh, believe it or not, never played this game at all. Uh, Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, which is what I brought up on uh, my previous video. Uh, but now it's on here. Um, don't have... Uh, Hmm, I can't remember the name of the second one, uh, but there's a duology for uh, the Persona games. Uh, the original Resident Evil, not the uh, director's cut. We've uh, got Resident Evil 2, very first and only Resident Evil game I ever played. Resident Evil 3, that's really awesome. I get to actually try that one out. I heard a lot of good things about it. Nemesis is supposed to be really fun. The story is supposed to be pretty incredible. Uh, Saga Frontier, uh, really enjoyed that one, didn't really like the second one very much, it was too convoluted of a story and too all over the place. This one is too, don't get me wrong, but I still enjoyed the gameplay on this one. Uh, Shanghai uh, True Violers, uh, it's a Mahjong type of game, I can't wait to try that one out. Uh, SimCity 2000, never a fan of SimCity. Simpsons Wrestling, to me it wasn't really a wrestling game, actually, it was just more of a beat em up, like you beat each other up. But it was in a ring. Uh, Soul Blade, fun game. Ah, tons of memories of Soul Blade. Really love it with that one. Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Uh, there's another one that people wanted to have on there. Spyro 2, the original Spyro the Dragon. This is so cool that all these games are on here. Street Fighter Alpha 3 is a really awesome one as well. Uh, we got Sweeken in 1 and 2. Really great uh, RPGs on here. Uh, the original Siphon Filter, uh, again Siphon Filter 1 and 2, Siphon Filter is uh, one of the games that I wish I would have played but never really got into. Uh, Tactics Ogre, there's a lot, of, a lot of great RPGs on this one, this is a really good stick for me, I love this thing, it's really cool to check out. Uh, we have the original Tales of Destiny, uh, Tales of Destiny 2 came out on PS2, came out on PS1 as Tales, it's supposed to be Tales of Eternia. But it's Tales of Destiny 2. But that one I actually have played. It's really fun. Um, there's a guy, Blonde Guy Gamer, who actually uh, mentions a drinking game about that game. Uh, you got to check out his channel. He's pretty cool. Uh, Tekken 1 and 2 are the games that I have played. Never played the third one, which, is all, again, is also on here. So you would think they would have maybe tried putting some other games on here that are not on the classic. Uh, but, you know, this is what they decided to go with. Uh, Tenchu 1 and 2. I actually love Tenchu more than... I did Tenchu 2, but both great games, really fun. Uh, Tetris Plus, never played it, but I was a Tetris fan growing up. I had a Game Boy back in the 80s, and my mom, oh my god, my mom was a Tetris Dominator. She would destroy me in this game. Um, so if she was around now, she'd probably love to play it. Uh, not that she's not passed away, she's just not in the same area that I'm living in, is what I mean. Uh, again, another golf game, uh, Tiger Woods, when Tiger Woods was cool back in 99. Uh, Tomb Raider, another one people wanted, 2 and 3, again, and this is one of the games that was actually coded into the system originally. Uh, we have Tomba 1, Tomba 2, I never played either one of those games, but 1 and 2, I had a friend who bragged about them all the time, it was so great. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, again, other games that people wanted to get. Uh, Twisted Metal 2, uh, this is the one that I actually played, um, along with my friend John, actually. Um, now that I think about it, before I say I didn't, I never played this one. I did play Twisted Metal 1 and 2, never played any of the others, but I love playing these games. Uh, Vagrant Story, another great one, another Final Fantasy twist in the story with the area in that one, that's pretty cool. We got uh, Vandal Hearts 1 and 2, never played either one of these games. There's so many games on here that I've never played but I wanted to play and now I can actually try them out, it's cool. Uh, WCW Nitro, they're doing the wrestling thing. Wild Arms 2, I finally get to play this one, want to finish it for sure. Uh, the story in this one was so great, I got to the second disc, but I never got any further than that. Uh, Wipeout, I actually love the Wipeout games, they're one of the few racing games that I like because they're futuristic ships, you're literally like flying on like this hover type of track, you know, and you have abilities to shoot at enemies, the shields you can put on, so it was one of the first games I ever played like that, and didn't really play Mario Kart or anything else. It was these games right here that got me into this type of stuff. So again, Wipeout, Wipeout 3, Wipeout Excel was the one that I actually owned. Another WWF Smackdown 2. The wrestling games were actually pretty good back in the day. They were really fun. 
And finally, we have Xena Warrior Princess. Uh, heard a lot of good about this game, but never really played it myself. Um, and it's really cool. Uh, there are a lot of games you can play on here, but one thing I also want to be do, do is I'm going to actually jump over to uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 and show you that you can play two players on the Classic, but i got to show you how you can do that. So I'm going to uh, be right back. Give me just one second. Okay guys, I am back. We are checking out Street Fighter Alpha 3. And what's cool is it's got the original PlayStation logo. I love that. Again, more nostalgia. It's really awesome. Got all of those old audio bits, those are really awesome to listen to. So we're just gonna skip the intro just to show you how this works. Start, we're going down to versus mode. So I have the True Blue Mini Stick plugged in and I have my other USB hub because like I mentioned before the USB hub that comes with it does not work on the classic for some reason and I have no idea why um, I think it's because it's a 3.0 to tell you the truth it just never worked for me but the old 2.0 uh, hub actually did so we'll select versus and we'll just do uh, Ryu and Ken Get that other controller over here. And it's really weird how it is. Like, I'm the first player and this is the second player. But I'm not really gonna, you know, I can't really do a whole lot of fighting, obviously, because I'm controlling two controllers at once. You know. But, you know, I'll just press some buttons here, you know, and show you that uh, things actually do work, you know. You can back and forth and so I'll, I'll throw a Hadouken and a little hurricane kick there alrighty we got Select and triangle actually gets you back to the menu on this thing, which is pretty neat. And uh, we'll just say no on that one. But I uh, just want to show you uh, how the two-player uh, option worked. That was pretty neat. So um, that is the True Blue Mini in a nutshell, the Crackhead Edition with 101 games. One thing I would also like to note is that you notice that there are 101 games on there but the original 20 are not on the screen, as you saw. Yes, the True Blue Mini overrides the original 20 games that are on the system and just play the games that are on the stick by itself. It would have been really neat to just add it on there. Of course, it would have been weird to see two copies of Abe's Odyssey and two copies of um, Tekken 3, you know, but still, a really awesome thing to get. I ended up getting mine on Amazon for about $22, and that was with the shipping, so it was like 20 something and some change. Or it was $20 and some change, or yeah, $20 and some change, but the shipping was like 22 and things like that. But it's definitely something I would try to buy. Now, I haven't been able to see them on Amazon lately, but maybe they are on there and I'm just not looking properly, or maybe they just took them down for whatever reason, but uh, I really thought this was very cool. I tried it. I didn't, I didn't believe it. I thought maybe I wasted $20 and you know, uh, it actually turned out that this was a really awesome buy. Like I said, I've tried 
quite a few of these games. They all run very smoothly. They're all the NTSC version, so there's no lag, no slowdown. They're all running at the 60 uh, hertz, 60 frames per second. So it's uh, definitely something I'd recommend buying if you have yourself a PlayStation Classic. If you buy yourself a PlayStation Classic for sure, definitely jump on this thing because this is really cool. A huge nostalgic, uh, nostalgia feeling. This is just straight up nostalgia for me because I was a kid when a lot of these games came out. These were top notch. These were the bee's knees. These were sick. These were cool. These were dope. These were really great games. And I'm just, I'm nerding out on this thing because now I have all these games that I wanted to have back in my possession, so to speak, you know, all for a low price of 20 bucks. So definitely jump on the, uh, on the blue, uh, true blue mini sticks. They are so amazing to get. They have so many fun games. Uh, I would definitely recommend buying a 2.0 USB hub that has the four of them. I plug mine into uh, the first USB and the third USB port, uh, which is technically the second USB port on the side because the first one is the one on the very end. Uh, that's pretty much how I got it to work for me. I tried plugging in the second, third. I tried plugging in both on the same side, and it doesn't work. And like I said, the one that comes with the True Blue Mini just does not work for me at all. But this does, and it's really cool. So I can play all these two player games. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I, uh, you guys definitely got to get yourselves one of these. Check it out for sure. Definitely enjoy this True Blue Mini Stick because I know that I do. Holy cow. The True Blue Mini Crackhead Pack. $20 on Amazon plus whatever the tax is. All those games on this little stick, man. That is so cool, so amazing. Definitely try to find them. Um, I've checked Amazon and I didn't see them on there anymore. So they might be still floating around somewhere in cyberspace. You can grab one. But man, is this thing really amazing. All those classic games. All those JRPGs. This is gold to me. This is gold to me. Yeah, it was backwards, but here it is. <laughs> the True Blue Mini Crackhead Stick. $20 Amazon. It's where I got mine. You saw how it looked. You know, give me your comments below and tell me what you think about it. If you think it's really cool, if it will give you a reason to buy a PlayStation Classic, if my first video didn't give you a reason why. But me, I love this thing. It is so fun, so great. Um, it is interesting how I mentioned earlier that it does override the original 20. And you saw that. There's not even a custom game spot uh, anywhere in the carousel roster at all. It's just the games on the stick. So it doesn't make it 120, just 101, you know. And I wish they would have put Abe's Exodus on this stick and maybe something else other than Tekken 3 because that's on the original. But it is what it is. What it comes with is still great. They have a huge lineup and... It's definitely an awesome thing to get to not only add to your PlayStation Classic library, but just to add to your PlayStation Classic altogether and have fun with it. This is Temple to Page Taylor. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell to see my latest videos and have yourselves a great day, Gemstones. Talk to you later.